catch and cook turtle. It's gonna happen, man. Soft shell. Turtle soup. Turtle soup. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna bite the lens. Get it. You really save your hate mail because we're not eating domesticated animals. What nature gave us today was a turtle. So we're eating the turtle. I like this meat. I don't have any problems with this meat at all. So how long before things turn around with the fishing department, man? It's the right kind of day. Yeah? Sunny like this? Yep. So when the gar are hitting, pretty much just put up your tack. But I think so far what we've been having issues with is just the turtle population. So throw lines, no throw lines, we'll throw out poles and I have our fingers on them. And whenever that turtle grabs it, it's a lot harder to trick me when I have a pole. That line over there was right tight, eh? Right tight wrapped, the bell was even knocked off, so it was a... Something got it, some, something was on 100%, it. for a long time too. Yep. Some had a fight and lost, or one, I guess. Or one, yeah. <laughs> or it got caught and something bigger came and ate the entire fish. So yeah. this is that kind of river. No bait. What you got? Turtle and a cat. Need help? Uh, me some. Get that turtle, pin him down. What kind of turtle? How you doing? Good. Nothing's happening here. Need your expertise. Oh yeah? Yeah. I got the bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hook out. You should not try and take the hook out of a soft shell turtle's mouth without getting them around the neck. And so we've got some flexibility there. Let's see if we can't edge this out. There we go. And uh, there's your soft shell. And he's not hurting, guys. He's not dying or anything. The shell is uh, all flexible. Look at that. Spiny soft shell turtle. So what's the story on the soft shells? Is it illegal because they're not, in, they're not from around here? Is that, is that uh, the story or no, no, they are from around no, here? No, they're, they're from around here. Yeah? Yeah. They're just uh, another one of those things that you can eat. As long as you have the right licenses and permits. And that means he's on the menu. So, I'll go ahead and put him in the bucket. Good job. Boom. So turtle's a turtle's a turtle, or is this guy special? That's soft shell. They're pretty darn common down here. They're fast, long necks. Uh, these things can jump out and grab you pretty easy. But most of them just wanna steal all your bait off your lines all day. But they taste good. Good dark meat inside. Set definitely something everybody ought to give a try to. At least uh, whenever you catch them, feel them, because there's nothing like a soft shell turtle shell. So you see, there's a, like that's the special way. That's the, how you hold it. You can't hold it by the back, the <laughs> shell, or nothing like that. No. Uh, if you if you grip on really well, but they've got some sharp claws up in here. Oh yeah, you don't want that. It's and, uh, hand. Yeah, yeah, they'll mess you up. And you still can breathe like that, like you're not choking the air supply. Nope, off. nope. You can actually feel the. Uh, you can feel his pulse through my hands, and I can let up a little bit. His head flares out, so as long as he can't pull his head back through the circle I've made with my hands we're good right so it's more it's more just to keep the jaws out of the way oh yeah because <laughs> this guy's head it's like a snake it can come out here which means that he can he can actually bring it backwards and bite me all the way back here yeah so it's how do you get wild. the head to come out like we use the pliers right you oh. had you had me pull the pliers out I bit the pliers I pull the neck out usually yeah? uh, if you get him to strike onto something like a stick right they'll they'll pull it out grab on same thing if you're trying to take the hook out which is usually why we grab them by the neck the best way to do that instead of just fumbling around and hurting the turtle grab them by the neck use your pliers get that hook out and do with them as you need them to so that's going to be a good meal oh yeah dark meat it's definitely turtle i've never had turtle before man yeah, you're so. hitting all the reptiles this time aren't you <laughs> got rattlesnake soft shell still a few more on the list <clears throat> one of the most amazing things about texas is how hot and humid it is. But not only that, the level of mosquitoes here is zero. That's right, there's zero mosquitoes. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, which is a super hot day for us in Canada. And humidity is super high. We're near water, the kind of habitat that mosquitoes would love to breed in, incubate, and there's none. There's no mosquitoes. It's like you could go totally shirtless here 
and not get bit. It's it's insane. It's like if there's anything I know about Canada, say like what ruins our wilderness is the mosquitoes. Man, when you when it gets real hot, you don't want to be out in the bush anymore because the mosquitoes come out and they just torture you. But there's no mosquitoes here. It's awesome. Any fish? No fish. Nothing's even jumping out there. Lines are all reset though? Yeah. Here, see again. How much you say is in there? A pound and a half at least. Did I? Yeah. For what, an hour's worth maybe? Hard to say, right? Time just kind of flows strangely. Depends on the tree you hit. They're all, or almost all the same. Most of them are on the ground now, so it's not, I don't think it's gonna get any better for here. It's one of the easiest things about this place, the wood. Everything's just dry. Just pick it off the ground, bone dry. Smash it, put it in the fire. So where we're at right now is day three. Okay, three quarters of the way through day three. Hump day. Uh, I don't feel so bad. I feel all right. I don't feel great. I feel tired. My legs are sore. Body's sore. But I've been getting lots of calories, which is good. Uh, yeah, we're uh, just about to cook a turtle up. That we got yesterday. And think about reptiles is they store real well. So we got a soft shell turtle on the menu right now. Uh, Bob's just off to do a BM. That's good news. It's always good news. I did two last night. You wake up kind of, stomach kind of rumbles and you give her. Most of it's like, you know, TMI, right? TMI. So if you guys don't want to hear, plug your ears for like the next 20 seconds. It's like purple paste. Uh, like, like blueberry jam. So that's how she goes. <clears throat> but it's better, it's better that that happens than that doesn't happen because season one was not good. Uh, if you didn't watch season one, that was a big eye opener for us. It was uh, nothing but fish. We only ate lean fish the entire time. I'm not joking. We ate pike the whole way. We ate a couple blueberries and the blueberries kind of got the train moving. And then we had the blueberry mash. But uh, before that was uh, not nice. It was one of those things that just uh, you didn't want to happen to anybody. It was dry, rock solid, you know. The train was backed up, in other words. So, anyway, uh, I'm happy that we're eating regular food. Uh, we're definitely not eating enough food or the quality of food that your body needs as a human. You need a lot of calories, man, to stay up. A lot of calories to stay up but uh, look at the scenery man it's all beautiful green it's beautiful here and there's no mosquitoes that's magic man no mosquitoes but I'm looking forward to catching that or cooking that turtle soft shell turtle I want you to tell me what you know about the soft shell oh well, this is a spiny soft shell real real soft kind of like a, a ray or a skate yeah manta ray it's just really strange but they make really good meals. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Asian com countries eat the heck out of these. But they're all over down here in South Texas, and they're a lot easier to actually eat than most people think. So a lot of folks pull them out, kill them, don't do anything with them. Today, he's a meal. So in Ontario, we've completely lost our snapping turtle uh, season. We can't, so we can't catch snappers turtles. Period. Mm -hmm. So turtles are completely off the menu. Why is it that they're on the menu still here? It's probably that we're warmer down here, the reptiles, and so they breed really well, they do really well. Uh, reproduction cycle, the river just fills up with turtles. Every few years, we have a real population boom, and it's something we have to actually control down here actively. And how do we catch them? Online most of the time. Uh, sometimes you accidentally catch them. <laughs> They'll jump in boats at times. Uh, but they're all over the place. So all we did was use like what liver on a hook, mm -hmm. and a fishing or not even fishing line, bank line or paracord or whatever. That yeah, bank line. Yeah. Bank line. Yeah. Cast it out like not even you know ten feet from the edge, and y you can actually see a lot of the times them coming up to the edge, 
Yeah, all yeah, the, they'll put all their the time. nose up. You'll see that snorkel nose just stick out of the water. Right, and that's and a good identifying a feature. Neck. Long nose and a long neck. Yep. yep and yep. and you did you showed safe handling technique earlier where you grab the neck. The neck. To take hooks out. Right. That's about the only way to do it so unless you, you just you pull the neck out. Pull them around. Yeah, this neck's gonna extend way out. Uh, you can't really see that guys, but way out here, looks like a snake neck coming out. So they've got some range on it. They can bring his head back here and bite me if my hand's right here. So uh, you just want to be safe and smart. He seems pretty chill right now, but if I gave him a target, he'd be all about it. And I actually have a couple scars on my body from soft shells. Yeah. So it's one of those few creatures that's actually gotten a hold of me. Yeah. And uh, it, respect to these guys. Be careful with them. If you're just joining us now, this is part of the Wilderness Living Challenge. We're on day three. Um, we're catching and cooking everything. And the reason for that is because we're not using any store-bought food, but we're allowed to use any tools necessary. This is my host. For season three, Bob Hansler, he's got his own YouTube channel. You guys, guys got to go check him out. He's gonna have a lot more information about all these things uh, that I can't, I don't have time to cover, or the expertise. I'm just getting what you can offer me as far as uh, you know local knowledge as we go. But you're gonna have a lot more detail, right? Texas talk. Oh yeah. Right. So from here on in, it's gonna be a little bit graphic. I do want you to explain to me how we dispatch the animal and how we clean it. Just like a real quick overview. Anybody else you want more detail, you're going to have to skip over to the Uncensored channel and have a, have a peek at what we do next. Absolutely. Well, these guys, top part, not really handy. As far as dispatching them, as soon as that neck comes out, just like a fish, you'd hit that. Okay. Right? Uh, as soon as the neck is off, head is off, then no it's more dead. pain, it's dead. But it's going to keep moving? It's probably going to keep on moving, so if you touch a foot, they'll lash out and they can scratch you. Right. Uh, the big thing on these is that when you're handling them, Try and handle them where he can't get his foot around there, because uh, they're strong. Leverage is their friend. Yeah, and I tried to so. handle this. I tried to handle the animal before, and like the the push power this way is pretty intense. That's like, forceful. Surprisingly strong, but that's what the animal does yeah. all the time. Yeah, they're they're raking through all things. So what you're gonna do? Dispatch your turtle. This is uh, I guess this is plastron, and what we're looking for are the four pieces of meat, the four corners, and the neck. And that's what we'll be cooking up. So you can actually find some soft points. You take the knife in through the side here, cut through this edge all the way back and around, cut through this edge. Those are two really hard points. And we're gonna be just pulling things out, cutting and removing this plate. Okay, and, I uh, see. I see that there's a, there's a plate here. Yeah. There's a plate, yep. And there's just it's a, a, right a small soft crease on both sides. So a small knife gets in there. Okay. And uh, when you do it right, it happens real quick. So we're gonna do pull the neck out, cut the head off. That's correct. That's right. And once you start hitting up against hard stuff, you just need to feel. Put a little pressure in each direction until you can guide it around. Try and go in from the back side. All right, guys, we're done. Uh, we got a good pile of meat there. Not Dece bad. Decent pile of meat. It's two, three pounds. So you got the shell hanging out here. It's the top. Got the bottom hanging out there. So all we're gonna do is, uh, you gotta rinse that off a little bit. Rinse it all up. Put it in the pot. Yeah, are, are we gonna it. add anything to the turtle? We're just gonna eat it like that. I think uh, if you've ever gone ahead and tried to pull the skin off, it takes a long time. So I'd say uh, go ahead and pick it up to a boil until the skin gets loose, pull that skin off, and then we'll season it up, change out the water. That's turtle soup. It's a strong meat, but it's definitely worth experiencing. Cleaning tools is pretty simple. Same thing everywhere, all over the world, pretty much. Use your water, what you got. We got a lot of here is a lot of sand. So that'll quickly clean a knife. So clean that up. We're not gonna use soap and water, we don't need to. Just real quick. And everything dries really fast here too, so before I put that back in my sheath, I'll just let it air dry. And for my hands, same kind of deal. Just take a pile of mud. Makes a good scrubber. And that's gonna take off all that nastiness really easily to take off. 
That's it, guys. That's what we do to wash our hands. But your hands don't have to be clean all the time anyway. I mean, there's going to be bacteria in the water. So the ideal thing to do right now is just to let your hands completely dry. And most, most of the nasty, the nastier parasites are, will die once they lose all the moisture. And you can see how dirty my hands are. It's just a natural part of being outside. You know, it's a different kind of dirt than city dirt. It's not the kind of dirt that's going to kill you. You know, it might make you a little bit sick, but it's not something your body's not designed to handle. It's all good. Well, that's how we clean up in the bush. This turtle soup's almost done. It's fall off the bone tender. Oh man, we just had a pile of excitement down by the river. For real. Bob hooked up to a gar pike probably, I'm not exaggerating about that big, got a lot, quite a bit of the action on film. Uh, you know, the mechanics, it's the mechanics, the mechanics of, you know, being in a foreign environment. So you get the, ga get the gaff, get the gaff, get the gaff. So I ran down the hill as fast as I could, grabbed the gaff, uh, flicked on the camera, Bob fighting it, bringing it out of shore, uh, had it in, and then um, Shauna, Bob's wife, g gives me her camera. I give her the gaff because she's got a little bit more experience. Bob tries to guide her to get it. So you gotta, I guess, you know, all new to me, man, I, I just showed up. Um, and uh, he, he, I guess you gotta go underneath and, uh, you know, dig her in there and drag her up. But, uh, you know, getting crossed up and all, all the mix up and getting camera, all the action and everything like that and getting the mechanics down, we just weren't ready for that, for that bite, so. We didn't actually land it, which is unfortunate because that was a big piece of meat, man. That was a big fish. Uh, so it's unfortunate, but, you know, we still got our turtle soup. And, you know, we, we got, uh, you know, if you guys are just tuning in, this is the Wilderness Living Challenge. I got to remind you guys that we're eating, you know, food off the, off the land, man. So this turtle here and all the animals we get that are legal, we're going to eat. You know, we're not messing around here at all. This is do or die for us. We're not using any modern foods at all. This is my first time having any turtle. We kept the skin on. Um, it's kind of an interesting re reptile kind of meat. It's, uh, I don't know how you describe it. It's like a white meat. Uh, we haven't put any seasoning in there at all. I don't even really know how to season it. Bob's busy fishing and he want to come up and eat it. So I'm eating turtle, uh, soft shell turtle by myself for the first time ever. He said it's a strong taste, but I guess it's a good good idea to eat that fish or eat the turtle by itself. Doesn't smell too strong. And there's nothing wrong with that. It tastes like wet meat. Meat's meat, ma'am. You know, the more animals I eat, the more meat's meat. And you might be upset about me eating a turtle, but they don't have open seasons on animals that are protected or that are endangered. You know, those are protected animals, these turtles. I know lots of people love turtles, but if you don't keep the populations of all the animals in check, then you end up with a lot of animals that cause problems for other animals. And we are part of the ecosystem. So if we, if we actually ate more wild animals around here, we would be a lot better off. We'd have more wild spaces. We'd protect our wild spaces because we get to forage in those wild spaces and we mow them all down and pasture cattle. It's a really fatty meat. The skin's still on, not taking any of it off. Let's see, there's a paw here. 
give you guys a look at the paw. You can see the little toes there. And you really save your hate mail because we're not eating domesticated animals. We're eating, you know, what nature provides for us and what nature gave us today. What nature gave us today was a turtle. So we're eating the turtle. I like this meat. I don't have any problems with this meat at all. It's really good meat, in fact. You can see every once in a while there's a white or yellow globule. That's the fat. So I would add a little bit of seasoning to it, 100%. We've got lots of different kinds of seasoning. So this was just caught on the hook and line, just like you would a fish. Not legal for us to do it in Canada, but it's 100% legal in Texas. And a little bit of a job, a little bit of a job to clean it. I actually cut my thumb trying to pry through the uh, shell, so I got my payback. Quite a bit of meat on there. And these animals will keep for a long time out of the out of the water, just in a bucket with a little bit of water. This is a whole series. It's called the Wilderness Liver Challenge. You have just started watching. Go back and start. Watch all the way through. You know, we've got lots more to come. The gar's on the menu. Big giant gar. Let's see if we can make that happen. This is good meat. There's nothing wrong with this meat. It's doing it. Turtle soup is the way to go. Put out of some... Uh, Cactus pads would be nice and then some onions in there. And you got turtle soup, man. We're just running out of time to do all that foraging now. Actually, I may have some onions. I'm gonna I'm gonna add some onions in here. I think I might have some laying around from a couple days when we go when you foraged. Alright guys, that's it. Keep watching, subscribe or not, I don't care. Cheers. Till next time. All you gotta do is get us, get him lined up, and then put your hand out there, and he'll go after it. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, we we both look like little sissies right now. We <laughs> get, get him away from me. He's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, game All over. Right. Hey guys, I'm back in Canada, and I've been doing a pile of editing. I want to keep this video series rolling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release a video every Tuesday and every Friday. This is gonna be going on for about two and a half months. I have 19 episodes in total. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is support the channel. What I want you to do, if you can, is please watch the video entirely from the beginning right to the end. YouTube is tracking all sorts of uh, data in their algorithm and what they wanna see is a high watch time or retention time. So if you guys can do that and you like the series and you want me to continue doing that, that's one small way you guys can help. Leave lots of comments down on the bottom, not just one, but a bunch of them, that helps. Of course, hitting the like button is super easy, you can do that too, and sharing it. If everybody shared it to five people, it would get big really fast. And lastly, if you wanna support it monetarily, you can buy a t-shirt. I'm hoping to get some more t-shirts up. If the t-shirts are available, I'll provide a link. If not, you can always offer a PayPal donation that will come directly through me. To me, you can also hit the sponsorship button. It's a new uh, feature that YouTube has added. You click sponsor and it's a monthly uh, subscription. So I think it's $5.95 or something like that. And uh, ongoing supports the channel. So guys, I hope you enjoy the series. Um, if you guys want me to continue doing this, you want me to go to other different places, uh, let me know. If you have access to land, um, you know, private land, and there's a lot of hunting, fishing, opportunities, trapping, that sort of things, and you want to invite me up and a guest or a couple of, a couple guests, let me know. Shoot me an email for that. I do not always get to all the comments to do my best, but if it's, a, uh, if it's an important thing like, hey, you want to uh, hook me up with some land and you've got it ready to go, let me know. So uh, I'd like to explore and open different doors and avenues and see where this, uh, this YouTube thing and the survival wilderness living thing takes me. So I would, Definitely let, welcome some, uh, some offers of getting into new lands all over the world. So let me know.